What's good, y'all? It's your G Gang. It's your boy Smooth Guy Game back with another Sly episode, and it looks like we're finally back speaking with the keepers. Welcome Still got. Back. Girl, how you dare you interrupt my intro like that? Still got one that we haven't yet met, but we're coming here today to talk to this one. So make sure you guys leave the video with a like, comment, and subscribe. We helps the channel grow. We're on the road to 1K by the end of the year. So let's get it. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Great, so I gotta find some way to sneak into... Into the headmaster's, the headmaster's office. office. So is that Professor Fig will know what to do. So I'm guessing I gotta go talk to Fig then, right? That's like the next step of that quest. Well, as of right now, it's not there. So we have uh, three things to do. The poacher's house call. Uh, so we gotta go Poppy, Natty, Sebastian. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go Sebastian. Just because why not? Locate this on the map. We're gonna run through all three of these. Maybe they're all just talking ones and I don't have to do anything. But I know for fairly certain we're at least gonna get through these three. And then if like the whole talking to Professor Fig thing comes up, then we'll do that too. Let's see. But first things first, we gotta go see Mr. our good friend Sebat. What? Your sister has been in St. Mungo's for three days and she's still bothered. Damn, when you get close, you don't get to listen? I was trying to. To see the male cuss him out. <laughs> that thing would say, you bald, so what? I think that was like the Harry Potter version of, you mother. <laughs> you mother, mother. Boy, I'm gonna get cussed out by a piece of mail and was hiding in fear. Oh no, a paper cut had a, all right, Sebastian, what do you want? Did you better you not be saying anything. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot about that. I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Falthcroft, nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my own twin. If he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form, and that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne. To reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. What did you mean you'd send Anne a crest so that she'd know to meet you? It's... we just lost our parents and we were packing up to go and live with Solomon. We couldn't take everything. She was carefully organizing her prized possessions, a box of artifacts she'd collected to do with our family. Jewelry, cards, old photographs. She got to her favorite, a handmade crest, and without a second thought, she handed it to me. This will keep you safe, she said. It holds no enchantment, but I've kept it with me since. That's how I can reach Anne. I'll get the crest to her with plans to meet. Be careful, Sebastian. Your uncle could intercept it. We'll be expelled. Even if Ominous is upset with us, he has no love lost for his family. He'd use their connections to the Headmaster if we needed his help. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. Yeah, yeah. As long as you ain't trying to be angry no more when I, uh, when I talk to you about goblins. All right, so we got that out of the way. There's a, what is this? The, po the polyjuice plot? 
all right well let's go ahead and handle these other two things though first um before we go do that one so this one is just outside of hogs me and then oh i made to go back to quest not like completely exit out where's poppy's at is this at hogs me too oh no no hers is over here somewhere oh it's out there what is this this is a another one of them summoning court matches I, I might try to do that in my spare time uh for right now let's go talk to where is she at i don't know it looks like she's just outside of beast class so we'll fast over over here we'll do poppies we'll do natties and then if we have time before the video ends we'll go hit hit a professor fig and talk about what that's talking about so uh oh good you're safe there you are you were in such a state when you left the poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Horntail Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she all right? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we'd cost them everything. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. Where exactly are these Snidgets allegedly hidden? Gran says the journals were a bit cryptic, which is good. Perhaps the poachers won't be clever enough to find the birds. From what she recalls, the journals only noted that the key to finding them lay in the moonlight. Gran thinks it can be narrowed down to a handful of locations. Why would Snidgets be valuable to poachers? They could make more money with Snidgets than they ever would have fighting dragons. The golden Snidget's feathers and eyes are incredibly valuable. That's why they're believed to be extinct. They were hunted out of existence by wizard kind. If the poachers found some now, I can't bear to think about the horrific way they'd be bred and killed for profit. Exactly what kind of creature is a Snidget? It's a small bird with golden feathers. It's incredible. It has rotational wings that allow it to dart quickly in any direction. In fact, the golden snitch in Quidditch is based on the Snidget, which barbarically was actually used in the sport hundreds of years ago. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets? Gran wants me to stay out of it, but I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon, but the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us, who value creatures as much Merlin's as- Merlin's beard! You're a genius! The centaurs, they'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. All right. Well, hopefully that plan comes soon. Like I said, most of these missions that are just like these are just like talking missions. So now we'll just head over to the outside of Hogsmeade. And what is this? Yeah, it's something to do with the goblin. We'll head over to the outside of Hogsmeade and see what Natty is talking about. Maybe hers is an actual mission. I know a lot of her talking ones end up us going somewhere so let's see what she is talking about really fast let me zoom out quest because i know it's on the outside but i gotta see locate on the map there it is so we put a location on that and one thing i do hate though is like the certain areas that you can't fly through like how i can't fly through like if i was just flying over hogs me uh yeah hogs me it would make me land and walk through like that to me is kind of annoying. Maybe if I was on like high wing or something, it would let me, but like it doesn't, it's like a no fly zone for brooms, which is kind of annoying. There's some areas like that around the map too, as far as like the mountains and stuff. So some of those areas can be a little bit annoying, 
because I'll be on my broom not 24 7. I don't really like to be on high wing. Oh, we get to kill? Let's get it. I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Philbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rib. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. What sort of information am I trying to gather from these people? They may know what evidence Mr. Bickle had against Harlow, or they may have evidence of their own. We simply need to know whatever they know. Where am I to find these friends of his? I do not know about Mr. Rabe, but his wife, Daisy, is often in Hogsmeade, as is Agabus Philbert. And Otto Dibble, he works at Gladrax, so you will likely find him there. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Hopefully, by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. Okay, so I gotta go ask these three people questions, and I guess they're all over Hogsmeade, so... I probably won't let y'all, like, watch me run from place to place. But let's go ahead and just, um... It's already got me on a path to one of them, so we're just gonna follow this pathway. We're gonna talk to one, two, three, and I'll get you guys as soon as we get to each different one. What have I done? Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles, and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts, and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give and my dearest Isco is paying the price. Why wouldn't Harlow extort your husband? Isco's job is even more removed from the vaults than mine. He travels the world for the bank. He could do nothing for Harlow. I'm the one in the bank on a daily basis, which evidently makes me an enticing target for blackmail. Have you helped Harlow since your husband was taken? No. I'm worried sick about Isco, but he'd never want me to compromise my integrity. I also know that he's extremely clever. That said, I was hoping he would have escaped by now. It makes me concerned as to why he hasn't. Are you sure the note means that your husband was kidnapped? What else could it possibly mean? Besides, I came home to find that someone had trampled the daisies in our garden. It may sound silly, but those were Isco's pride and joy. He would never have let that happen. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. And there's that note if y'all want to pause it and read it. To. Thank you. But I mean, it's it's honestly kind of pointless. Like, now, I thought like the police in this game, like the police in real life. Two friends. Why are kids out here doing the work that they should be doing to find and arrest us? Like, it seems like everybody know he'd be up to no good, but like they can't arrest him for whatever reason. That, that's crazy to me. Otto Dibble works at Gladrags. I should check there. Uh, but, 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 but please tell me you didn't. Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir. I'd like to help. 
I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. You know the Bickles? Mm, all right, but we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when you-know-who came into the shop. I hid the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What does he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his requests until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. I met Mr. Hill the day of the troll attack. He was kind to me. Why don't you just tell him? He's a lovely man. But when it comes to Rosie, I fear he loses all perspective. He'd see this as a grave betrayal. I'd lose my job instantly, and Rosie as well. What have you been doing to keep the extortion a secret? Well, as I mentioned, creative bookkeeping. And I've also been trying to cover the costs with my own savings, but I'm running out of money. Of course, none of this bodes well for my efforts to improve my circumstances and to be worthy of Rosie. Could you give me a bit more detail about the note? That might help me to identify it should I come across it. It's on Rosie's special pink stationery. It has her monogram at the top, RH. That's how Mr. Hill would know it was real. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. Uh, hello there. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. If you had spoken out against him as Mr. Bickle asked, perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But uh, perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Brookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry, with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core, still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again, but do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Harlow does not like Boy, people yo. talking. As you Yo, is so scary. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friends. Now to find Natty. I'm about to say, y'all are so scary.
Bro, this dude a hard load. Like, did none of y'all like take wizard training? Y'all, none of y'all know how to fight. None of y'all know Confringo or Expelliarmus. At this point, I'm I'm just convinced that only the students know how to fight. I'm getting this house though real quick. Sorry, bro. I know your house is probably pretty important, to, but uh, yeah, I need some of this loot. Let's see about that. There's something up here. There we go. A couple of good pieces of loot. I'll take that. 49 coins too. All right. So now we just gotta go. I guess take all this stuff back. All this information back to Natty, so that way we can um maybe take it to Officer of Singer. Like I really don't even know what we're gonna do with it at this point. I really think we should just handle it ourselves, really. Because the officer, officer thing you're gonna do, it. she's like, y'all kids still trying to do stuff you're not supposed to. We'll handle it. We're gonna not listen to any of this information that you went out and found. I'm gonna go back to my office and just listen for reports from citizens and ask Carlo. And then when he tells me he didn't do it, I'm gonna believe him. It's At this point, that's why I feel like he's going. What? She said she uh -oh. was going to the hog's head. Perhaps I'll find her there. Ah, great. Now she. Rebellion. Hey, look at that field guy that was conveniently like lit up still. Looks like she didn't got kidnapped. So now I gotta go right back into. I wish I had found that out before I looked here. Come here. Another field guy page. Yeah, I like them better when they're floating. That's a way easier. So where's the hog's head? Isn't that where I met? Um. What's his name? Ominous Gaunt. Oh, a different Gaunt. I thought they were talking about Ominous. This is where I met that goblin for the first time, I think. It's like the other bar, you know what I'm saying? Bar place that outside. Must be around what? here somewhere. What's going on? That he's wand. Uh-oh. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. Yep. She's in trouble. Revelio will show me where she was taken. No, Revelio will show me this uh field guy page. Nah. Okay, so she was in here. Wrong through Those here. Those little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Who wants some? Mm -hmm. Like this whole place on fire. Just in case y'all uh, forgot who I am. Alright, so looks like they went this way. Natty must have been taken Down this here way. in the cellar? I need to find her. They have a hideout underneath Hog's head? No wonder they're able to do whatever they want to do. to this room. Right. So I guess I can just pull these out. Um, okay. Let's try pulling this one out too, then. The hidden door. Oh, okay. There we go. must have been taken this way. Bit. I need to find her quickly. So I mean. Use Revelio real quick, make sure there's nothing here. Get a couple pieces of coins. Another treasure chest. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. All my gear slots are full, so I have to make sure that I go um sell some loot soon. Make sure my gear is all the way up and then go sell some of this loot. Arlo says her friend will be reckless enough. He wants them alive. Only a whole student would be arrogant enough to come in here alone. Just drink us, don't tell us. Good freak. I'm just warming up. Reductor, defender. Oh, snap. Now, Incendio. There we go. Let me, let me heal up. What? Burn up, cuz. Uh. I don't know what you're doing, but I mean. Yep, what the way? There we go. Ooh. Let me come over here. Did I die? I was so discombobulated for that fight, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I didn't know what was going on. Like, I rolled into the lightning like five times. Dang. Okay, good. At least I get to start Matthew right here. Must have been taken this Optional. Way. Find a book and a love letter. Find her quickly. Okay. Let's get. So I get to recollect this money and coins because I'm pretty sure, sure I'm probably not seen. Man, at this point, we might as well just go in loud and proud. 
Let me, um... Let me switch up. Here we go. Here we go. Bam. There we go. What? How did that feel? Bam. I'm so tired of this. These like little uh blockades things. Move out the way, please. Yeah, you thought so. Yep. There we go. Alright, come on. That didn't even take you out? Just move out the way. Come here. Yeah, I need you to uh, do what I say. Sendo. There we go. There we go. Yep. Let me go ahead and. Dang, I'm gonna curse you. Okay, cool. That should be everything that I need to do. There we go. There's something. I don't know what that is. Come here. You thought you were going to do something, huh? Whoop, move the way. Bro, y'all see she's running? Like, why are you running? Come here. There we go. All right, how are you gonna run away? Rebellion. All right, I gotta find that love letter. Dang it! Gear slots are full. Sheesh! I gotta remember to start clearing out my gear slots before I go anywhere. Let me crawl this way really quick. Let me see what's over here. Akio. What the? Confringo. There we go. Move that out the way. Rebellion. That's moved out the way. Are you gonna crawl forward, my boy? Because I guess technically I gotta. I mean, I'm not really trying to do the optional missions, but I can help out if possible. There we go. Let's go up these steps. We should speak to her again. Perhaps you'll tell us where we can find that friend of hers. Imperial, tell me to say nothing. Boss will deal with her when he arrives. There we go. I'll just use both of those. Oh, you thought she was going to get me? I don't know what you talking about, bro. Can I tell him to like do something? I want to see them fight. There we go. Hey, I like that. His does a lot of damage. There you go. Good work, my boy. There we go. I like that, y'all. Good work. No one to share in my victory. Rebellion. That was good teamwork. Okay, and I think I already tried to open this. This is, yeah, this is nothing. Let me see. There's a pathway that way. These are obviously just stairs. Let me make sure I collected. At least I'm trying to, you know, collect everything. Please get some more coins. That's full. Yeah, there's something back here, right? Because we have to find this letter. What is it? This says bushes. 
don't know what that means. Man. Alright, let's get it. Onwards and forwards. So that means the love letter gotta be somewhere close. You found us. I oh yeah, there y'all are. I have left my want for you. Over here. Why did you Yeah, yeah, I hear you need help. Revelio. Let's see, where is Alohomora? I guess maybe this is There's that. Boom. Okay. So what was that? It's, oh, oh, wow. I got his wand with, but without even speaking. Where is this letter, though? Yo? Rebellion. I've searched everywhere for it. Did I not? Oh, well. Wait. Oh, I don't. I got to talk to her first. Or Isiko, whoever this is. Mr. Rabe. Daisy told me you've been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Mr. Rabe, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Alright, so we'll back up off you. Alright, cool. So he's out. Now what? Oh, there's a curse that's on her door. Look out for what? Now we all gonna talk or something? My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. Hey, of course, I no worries. I'm too weak to disapparate with you both. But I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friends. Whoa. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. I mean, of course. All right, so now we got to find a way Rebellion. out. I swear, I don't see anything. Uh, I don't see anything that I haven't already, like, you know what I'm saying, like, check. Anything on this side. Of course, there's, like, all these treasure chests and everything, but I, like, I search. And you know what I'm saying? Like, it's stuff that I can't, um... Oh, there it is. Also it was up here. All right, cool. Rosie. Now we can get out of here for real. He wanted me to destroy I just feel bad, friend. like, not doing the um the optional missions while I'm on the mission. Might as well at least try. So let's get... Find a way to get out of here. Revelio. Bro, I can't even see. Um, I need to get... How do I get back up there? Cause I think that's the out, that's the exit. But how do I get over there? No. How did I get down here? I completely. Maybe it is through this way. I forgot how I got down here. Let me see. No. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. I ran up this way. Boom. Now we're out of here. I be getting so lost inside these hideouts. I do not be. Paying any type of I can't believe they had a hideout underneath this uh, place. Man, she ain't gonna do nothing. I say let's just go find Harlow and kill him ourselves. Look, how did she even know I was here? Nuts I own I. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. I still don't have a name. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. You still can't even call me by like Sly or something? Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you too. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, 
I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. Yes, officer. Do you have enough evidence to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot? Well, it's certainly a good start. We shall see. But you can leave this to me now. Not I thought like she low-key paid you off. You may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. Yeah, yeah. But I, don't, I think she's paid off, bro. Like, she. I just don't feel like she's helping at all. I just think she's just like paid off. I think she, I know what? how and where to approach the centaurs about protecting the snidgets. Okay. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest. Mm-hmm. So she wants me in the Forbidden Forest. But yeah, she, there's no way that you just letting Harlow do all this stuff. And you just like, gonna look at this like, I'm telling your mom that she was out here trying to trying to actually do some good like at this point i'm i'm just convinced that she working with um with harlow oh, go the ahead the ashwinders have ceased pestering me i suspect that's your doing thank you from me and rosie both we're just leaving for our honeymoon after we tell mr hill of our recent marriage wish me luck nice so wait why did that pop up for me like is that a quest or something no oh well well yeah this is what we're doing right now though we're gonna go see professor fig so we can get back to these main story missions